But man, oh man, have things changed in baseball. I want to get your yes. take on this because we're talking about how business has gone so woke and the implications for the rest of us. Tell me about your decision to cover up that Nike logo. Well, you know, after, you know, when Kaepernick took the knee and, you know, against our, our national anthem, and I'm a huge, huge military supporter, you know, that's what my foundation is all about. And, you know, for Nike to jump on board and reward this guy for that, you know, and the things that are going on, I, I told myself if I was playing in today's game and we had Nike jersey, I'd tape it up, I'd put a, cut a hole in it. And, you know, and going to the Yankee Stadium for Old Timers Day and I saw the jersey and I saw the Nike, I'm just like, oh, no. So I just grabbed some tape, I put it on there and, you know, people started laughing. Actually, I covered a bunch of other guys, but it fell off. It wasn't staying on very well. So I have to find some thicker tape or some stickier tape. Well, it's just incredible to me. Do they not understand what our men and women do when they actually make the incredibly courageous decision to go and mm -hmm. defend America's freedom and liberty? Are they? Do they not understand that the whole reason that they're able to play baseball and basketball and everything else is because of the freedoms that this country has allowed? There's no question about it. I think they're just in it for... You know, they're, they're looking for any situation to, for marketing. And that's the wrong way to market, you know, in my opinion, because of the fact that when I, when I played the game, when I came up, none of this even was uh, uh, an issue with it. And, and now with these companies that are coming out and jumping on board and trying to make change the game and put a lot of politics in the game, you know, to me, I think it's confusing a lot of the players because they're afraid to speak up. You know, I say things. I'm not afraid to say anything, you know, as Kid Rock would say, you can't cancel me. But to me, these guys are afraid. But you know what? If I was making 30, 40 million a year, a year and it's guaranteed, I'm going to speak out. But speak your mind. But to me, these companies are, are putting a really big damper, I think, on the game of sports because of the political stance that they're putting on these guys. Yeah, and I'm wondering, you know, what they think is going to happen, why they are just blowing off the actual customers. I mean, look what happened to Bud Light. Bud Light sales tanked yeah. since early April when the company partnered with trans influencer Dylan Mulvaney. Anheuser-Busch now pouring money into this massive ad campaign because they have to uh, with the NFL. What do you think about that strategy? And how is it possible that these people have completely ignored their customers so that they can get on board with some narrative to look like they're politically correct? Well, again, it's, it's like what Nike did with, with, the, uh, with Kaepernick. Bud Light's doing it with this Mulvaney person. I mean... Be what you want to be. I don't have a problem if you want to be transgender, you want to be this, you want to be that. That is fine. But when you're going to go in marketing and then you're going to push that narrative and you're going to push those values towards the other side and, and like you said, neglect the, uh, the everyday consumer, you know, a lot of people drink Bud Light. And, and to me, it's, it's just the wrong message to send because you're pushing it somewhere and then now you're, you're empowering these people to give them, and you know, and like Riley Gaines, I mean, she is so spot on when it comes to, you know, transgender and sport, men playing women's sports. You just, you can't do that. It's not right, and it's dangerous because, you know, you know, hypothetically, if I was to say I'm going to switch over and I'm going to go play women's sports, I'm going to hurt somebody, especially if I'm throwing 95, you know, and 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 if they have a league, they need to start their own leagues if that's the case, if that's what they want to do you know, and, and make it fair. But they're, they're sending the wrong message. They're doing it wrong. And, you know, to me, you're going to lose the, the customers, which Bud Light already did. You know, now uh, Modelo and, you know, they're, they're the number one beer, which is a great beer, and I like that. And Pacifico, those are my favorite beers. You know, but to me, Bud Light, they screwed up big time, and, and they've lost yeah. it. They've lost it. Yeah, imagine that. Imagine that you switch over and you're and you're over there competing, throwing 95s against women. I mean, how ridiculous! Yeah. I mean, you know, it's so obvious. You know, David. One thing I love about you, I, I love everything about you. But one of the best things about you is the patriot that you are. You are the founder of Perfect 33 Foundation. Tell us about the foundation. What are you doing? Well, I am, I've been doing this. this. is my eighth year. We're doing it here in uh, Florida, Innisbrook uh, Golf Resort. 
Um, so when I started it eight years ago, it was for our Navy SEALs and military for traumatic brain injuries. So we take care of these vets. And as you see, as you're scrolling up, Nick Norris was my first guy that uh, we took care of. He was, he was on the verge of checking out. We got him the treatments, and he's been a spokesperson for us. And Nick is a wonderful, wonderful human being, and he's got me, he's advocated for me to get these guys treatments. But now we have stepped up and we are working with Frank Siller and Tunnel to Towers, you know, for these smart homes for these military and first responders, which is very much needed. So to me, it's advocating for these guys, you know, because we sleep well at night because, you know, they put their lives on the line for us. And, and to me, what better way to do that is to give back and, and take care of our military and first responders. Absolutely. You are spot on, David. Thank you so much for all that you're doing. It's truly an honor to see you again and to speak with you this morning. Thank you, sir. Oh, my pleasure, Maria. Thank you for having me. All right. We'll see you soon. David Wells joining us.